Go ahead. Hi, Mark here. I'm with uh, Gary, and we're going to be talking about first gen leaf springs. Uh, a lot of times, what goes bad on these springs is the bushings. And these bushings can cause you a lot of problems if you don't have the right one. Now, the goal is before you take your front end apart and immobilize your vehicle, you would ideally like to have the right bushings there with you before you down the van. So this is an attempt to show you the difference on these front springs and how you can help to uh, identify whether you have the larger bushing or the smaller bushing. So the, what we have here is a couple of uh, front springs and we've also got uh, some rear springs. But I wanna talk about the front springs first because this is where you can get into some problems. Now they have two different sizes of bushings that can be in this front end. Now uh, there's three possible options for your first gen van. You can either have two of the small ones up front or one small one, one big one, or two big ones. And being able to uh, check that ahead of time is one of the things that we wanna try and help you do. So the uncommon one is the large one. But uh, if you can notice from the outside, here's the diameter, inch and three quarter, and this one is two and one quarter. Now it's difficult to get a measuring tool in there a lot of times, but you should be able to get a set of calipers in there close enough to be able to check that size, and that'll give you a good idea of whether or not it's the small one or the big one. Now, the big one is inch and five eighths outside diameter by a couple of inches, and the small one is inch and an eighth by the same two inches. This one is available from rare parts. They're a little pricey. So if you do need this, get it ahead of time and then have it ready to go. And here is the regular GM parts out of the parts book. And so you can see how the GM part, original GM parts compare to the uh, rare parts. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit, show them. Just pull that one. Yeah. So it's a good match. Yeah, pretty same. So as far as the, the rear springs, uh, there's typically no problems. They're almost, as far as we know, uh, the small diameter inch and an eighth, which is the most common. And this end, which is the front of both the front rear springs, the front end has got this metal rubber metal bushing. And in the back, they have the shackles like this, which just has the solid rubber bushings. So these are not difficult at all to remove. Sometimes they're not the right size. But uh, maybe Gary, you could talk about the, the different uh, heavy duty light duty rear springs. So GM or Chevy vans had two different springs, seven leaf, which is the heavy duty. So you simply can count the, ring, the, um, the leafs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You may not see it in the camera, but the leaf springs are thicker. But if you got seven leaves and it's still the factory configuration, you have the heavy duty springs. Now right adjacent to it is six leaf springs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can tell right here that the springs are not quite as beefy, it's not quite as thick. So that's how you can tell if you have the heavy duty or the standard uh, rear end. Maybe get a close up and see if you can maybe tell the difference by just looking at that. The thickness. Right. So heavy duty on the right, obviously the bigger ones. So uh, another thing you wanna do when you're looking at these springs is uh, identify any damage. And that damage can include? There's a couple things you wanna look for. And we have an example of it here. We have a, a spring that has a broken leaf. So I don't know if our cameraman can zoom in on us. Thank you, Mike. You can see it's short. That spring does not go all the way through. You can look at this adjacent spring. It comes back all the way through. And the other thing that you can tell, it's got a broken strap. So here's a complete strap that's present. And here's the remnants of a strap that's broken. So it's no longer wrapping around that spring. So you could have broken leaves or broken straps even. And if you have that condition, you may want to go 
and start taking the whole assembly apart. So if you take these springs into a spring shop, it's very likely that they will have or can make a replacement spring or re-arch these to whatever your specification is, depending on the rake that you want or how you want it to sit. Uh, and they would probably already have these, but uh, we have had some made. And so if you're in a pinch, you might be able to help you out with uh, some of these straps. They're not really that exotic. But, uh, and of course, the right size rivet to hold those in. Uh, I guess a lot of that is whether or not you're doing it yourself or not. So let's see, the other thing that I was uh, noticing, especially on this one, is that this is the larger diameter and it also has a poly bushing. Now, these poly bushings are not as easy to find, but I believe that there's a source off of vintage vans that can provide That's a commonly source commonly referenced for them. there, yes. So. And then uh, the shackle bushings. Shackle bushings in the rear. So it's a high quality. You're going to need 16 of these bushings. Mark, do you have the part number? Uh, yeah. If you're doing the whole complete van, we're talking front and rear. So there's, there's so four. Is, uh, here we go. A, uh, B. HB930, and I've also heard them described as just HB93. And you search that part number, you Google search it, and you'll find hits for that part number. So here's what that particular bushing looks like. And it's a little long for the first gens. So these, these would match up to be a bit too long. So one of the things that we recommend you do, because you're going to want to be fitting them in between the shackles over here, is you're going to want to cut one of them down to save you some work instead of cutting them both. So you have the exact uh, dimension. What you want to do is just cut one of them down so that it will come in and have your two inch dimension in here. It looks good. It'll save you some time. So that's about it for springs on the first gens. Uh, to me, the most critical thing is to have your bushings ahead of time. And if you happen to have a larger diameter up front to get that uh, rare parts bushing or a comparable one, ahead of time so that you can have them ready to go. Now, even if you're taking your springs into a shop, it's possible that they may not have this since it's such a hard item to find. So being able to have one of these ready to go would be great. Uh, or you can also call the shop ahead of time, tell them to make model. Maybe they have an inch and five eighths OD uh, metal rubber metal bushing. So, and then there was uh, one other item on these. So. The Chevy van, and coincidentally, so so also includes the 68 Camaros. If you see in the leaf springs, it's a unique feature to the vans and the Camaros. You can see this raised uh, raised bump in there. And so what the vans have is a short, short liner. So the dimensions on these are two and a half by two for what it's worth. And so I don't know if Mike, can you uh, zoom in? Can you see any of the liners in there? You can't? Good. So... We have a, I'll show you a still where you can change these if they're online. You put a, a chisel in there, drive it in there to make it loose, and you can slide out the old bushing, the old, the correction, I'm sorry, the liner. This is an example of an old liner, which is in good use condition. You'll find them a lot more worn. So, we can or give a, missing entirely. And yes. it takes how many to do just one spring? I mean, for every notch, every bubble here, that's another liner, right? Yeah, let's see. Well, I haven't counted them ahead of time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For that configuration right there, just in the, just on the one leaf. And then you've got six or seven leaves that you're dealing with. So, so if you've got a guy that does springs, uh, it's possible that he may not run into these very often. And having some of these parts ahead of time could help you get the, the complete job done. Uh, with all the right parts and once you've got that job done you're probably good to go for another 50 years at least so take care and get those spring bushings and those springs doing the right thing for your van